Hello everyone. Do you enjoy going on holidays? I do. So does my sister. My parents enjoy going on holidays too. Today's lesson is about comparisons and words we use to show comparison. What does comparison mean? It means comparing two or more people or things. In fact, I just made a comparison between my sister and me. I said, I enjoyed going on holidays. And I said, so does my sister. I use the words, so does, to show that we both enjoy going on holidays. I also made a comparison between my parents and me. I said, they enjoy going on holidays too. This means my family and I enjoy going on holidays. Here's another word we can use to show similarity or sameness. Let's look at another sentence. Like me, my family enjoys going on holidays. The word like shows that both my family and I enjoy doing the same thing, which is to go on holidays. The room rates at Hotel A are the same as the rates at Hotel B. We can add the word not to show the negative form of the phrase. The room rates at Hotel A are not the same as the rates at Hotel C. The rates at A are cheaper. The word not shows that the room rates are different at the two hotels. Let's compare two places. Penang was as busy as Malacca. Let's look at the phrase as busy as. It shows that both cities were equally busy. Let's look at another example. It was as sunny in Penang as it was in Malacca. The phrase as sunny, as, shows that both cities were equally sunny. When we use the phrase as something, as, we show equality between the two things. They are alike. To make a negative sentence, all we need to do is to add the word not. Penang and Malacca are not as busy as Kuala Lumpur. When we compare things to show that they are unequal or not the same, we use other phrases. Let's look at these examples. I enjoyed visiting parks more than malls. I spent more time at the parks than at the mall. I used the phrase more than to show that one was preferred over the other. Let's look at another phrase. The Dutch trading house is an older building than Masjid Kampung Kling. The phrase older than shows that the buildings are not equally old. One is older. This Dutch trading house is the oldest building in Malacca. The word oldest shows that one building surpasses the rest in terms of age. It is the oldest. Of all the places in Malacca, I liked A Famosa best. We can use the word best to say that we enjoyed something more than everything else. Here are two more phrases we can use to compare people or things. We use as many as to compare countable nouns and as much as to compare uncountable nouns. For example, there are as many beaches on the southern part of the island as the north. In this sentence, beach is a countable noun. To show that both the north and the south have the same number of beaches, we use the phrase as many as. Let's look at the comparison of uncountable nouns. I took as much money as Jim did for the trip. Money is an uncountable noun. So we use the phrase as much as. We can also use comparatives and superlatives of adjectives to make comparisons. We use comparatives of adjectives to compare two persons or things. Generally, when there are two syllables or less, we add the suffix er. This swimming pool is larger than the other one. 
When there are more than two syllables, we add the word more before the adjective. The deluxe room is more luxurious than the superior room. In these two cases, two items are compared and one is found to be different. When we want to compare three or more persons or things, we can use superlatives of adjectives. Generally, when there are two syllables or less, we add the suffix est. This hotel has the largest swimming pool I have ever seen. When there are more than two syllables, we add the word most before the adjectives. This is the most fantastic holiday I have ever had. Here, more than two items are compared, and one is found to stand apart from the rest in some way. Similarly, we can also use comparatives and superlatives of adverbs to make comparisons. We use comparatives of adverbs to compare two actions. Generally, when there are two syllables or less, we add the suffix er. The train moves faster than the bus. When there are more than two syllables, we add the word more before the adjective. ABC Airlines flies to Padang more frequently than XYZ Airline. In these two cases, two actions are compared and one is found to be different in some way. Usually, when we want to compare three or more persons or things, we can use superlatives of adverbs. Generally, when there are two syllables or less, we add the suffix est. He woke up earliest. The rest of us woke up after nine. When there are more than two syllables, we add the word most before the adverb. Of all the people in the group, Jake was the one who tipped the driver most generously. In these examples, more than two cases are compared and one is found to stand out to a greater degree. Before we go off, let's take a look at a common mistake in English. Don't say, the chocolate cake tastes more better than the butter cake. Say, the chocolate cake tastes better than the butter cake. That's all we have for today. Bye.